In order for our computer to be happy and functional on an IP network, it needs to have some basic properties or configuration set up, including an IP address, the mask, the default gateway it could use in case it needs to ever forward packets off the local network, and it also needs to know the DNS server that it can use to resolve or figure out the IP address behind the name. Well, if we have to do that all manually, like go to computer one, configure it, go to computer two, configure it, it's not only time consuming, but there's also an opportunity for us to do a typo and put the wrong information in. So in this video, I'd like to chat with you about how we can automate that process of dynamically handing out IP address information and information about default gateways and DNS servers by using a protocol called DHCP, which is an acronym for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It basically is a way to automatically assign IP address information to computers without having to do it manually thanks to DHCP. So in order to take full advantage of DHCP, the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, we're going to have a couple of pieces in place. One, we're going to have a DHCP server. That's the server that's handing out the IP addresses. And let's go ahead and use this server as a DHCP server. In this topology, it's a Windows server. And then in addition to having a DHCP server, we'd want to have a plan regarding what is going to be handed out by this DHCP server. So let's set this up as our plan. Let's say that the server is going to hand out IP addresses in the network 10.1.0 and let's go ahead and hand out .51 all the way through 99 and that would be part of our planning to identify how many IP addresses we intend to hand out or need to hand out and make sure our pool of IP addresses on the DHCP server is big enough. Another thing we'd want to plan for besides the IP addresses is the mask that we're going to be handing out. So if we wanted this portion the first three numbers to be the network and the last number to go ahead and be the host address, our mask would look something like this. Which means that the first three numbers of the corresponding IP address are the network because there's 255s in each of those positions for the mask and the last number in the mask is zero which means the last number here in the customer's IP address is their host address. Very similar to a house number on a common street. Now, if Bob, who's sitting at this computer, if his computer gets an IP address dynamically via DHCP, we also want to provide details including what default gateway Bob should use. So if this is the 10.1 network and the router is at 10.1.0.1, that's its IP address, we'd also want to hand out, along with the IP address, the default gateway that Bob's computer should use. So in this topology, it would be 10.1.0.1. And if Bob's computer ever wants to figure out what the IP address is behind a website name or some other name, Bob is going to need to know which DNS server that he should use or his computer should use. So we could also hand out the DNS server information along with the IP address as part of DHCP. So let's imagine the DNS server we're going to hand out is 10.1.0.111, which is another local server here on our network. And when we're handing out this information via DHCP, these options like the default gateway the client should use and the DNS server that the client should use, those are literally called options. We don't have to hand that information out, but that information is going to be really important for Bob if he wants to be able to communicate and send packets outside of his local network or do name resolution. So we'd want to include those options on the DHCP server. And many times, as you and I work in a networked environment, there could be different people with different responsibilities. So we may need to coordinate, if we're the network guys, we may need to coordinate with the server guys to identify or confirm the details regarding DHCP and its accessibility. So for this discussion, we're just going to go ahead and presume that all of this information and the details regarding DHCP services are configured on this internal server and ready to go. So our server's ready. The other piece we need is we need Bob's computer, computer two, to act as a client. Now this part is really quite simple. All we need to do is go to the configuration of that network interface card and tell it that we want it to obtain an IP address automatically or automatically. And what that does, that tells Bob's computer to go ahead and become a DHCP client. And when that happens, there are four packets involved between the client and the server. And those four packets are a discover, and that's where Bob is sending out a broadcast saying, hey, I'm looking for a DHCP server. If there's one out there, please respond. And if there is a server that hears that, it's going to go ahead and it's going to make an offer. And that offer is sent back so the computer too can see it. And in that offer, it's going to include details such as, hey, here's a specific IP address that you're welcome to use. And when Bob's computer sees that response, if it wants it, it'll go ahead and request it. 
basically saying to the DHCP server, hey, thanks for that offer. I just saw you offered that great IP address. I will go ahead and I'll take it. At which point the server is gonna send an acknowledgement, basically an acknowledgement back saying, yep, I totally get it. You are gonna take that IP address that I offered. And by the way, here are some additional options that you can go ahead and use with that IP address, including the default gateway that you should use and the DNS server that you should use while you're using this IP address. And a lot of people remember these four packets in the correct order by using a little phrase of DORA, or I guess that's an acronym, DORA. Like DORA, the explorer, discover, offer, request, and acknowledgement in that order. So here's what I'd love for us to do. This server is all set up with all these parameters. Let's go over to our client computer. We'll train it. I'll walk you through how to train it to be a DHCP client. And then once we've done that, we can verify it has an IP address, a default gateway, and a DNS server that it can use. And here in our Windows client PC, there's several ways of getting to the network interface card parameters for the IP address configuration. Uh, depending on which flavor of Windows and which flavor of Windows 10, uh, we'd go through control panels. Sometimes there are shortcuts. I'm gonna right click on the Windows icon, the bottom left hand corner, click on network connections, and that is certainly one quick way to get there. So here's our network interface card right here. So we'll right click on the network interface card, click on properties, and then we'll go ahead and double click here on IP version four, internet protocol version four. So currently this is statically configured, meaning it's manually configured with the IP address, the mask, the default gateway it should use, and the DNS server we should use. If we wanted this client to be a DHCP client and dynamically learn its IP address and the default gateway and so forth, all we do is click this radio button, obtain an IP address automatically. And what that means in the background, be a DHCP client and start that discover offer request acknowledgement process with a DHCP server. I'm also gonna click here, obtain DNS server address automatically. And that way, when the DHCP server hands out the information regarding which DNS server to use, this client will use that information as well as part of its IP configuration. Once that's done, we'll click on OK. We'll click on OK again. And to test this, we can just go to a command prompt and issue IP config space slash all and see the details regarding the information it just learned via DHCP. So to, one way of doing that is to click on the Windows icon bottom left hand corner, type in CMD for command, press enter to bring up a command prompt. And then from here, we can type in IP config space forward slash ALL. That's IP config space forward slash all and press enter. And regarding our specific interface where we just enabled DHCP, it's this one right here. Here it received an IP version four address, 10.1.0.51. It got a mask along with that. It learned about the default gateway at 10.1.0.1. And it also learned which DNS server to use at 10.1.0.111. It's also indicating who the DHCP server is. And that also is at 10.1.0.111. This means that our DHCP server is doing double duty. It's acting as a DNS server. It's also acting as a DHCP server. In this video, we've introduced the concept of DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, which can be used to dynamically assign IP address information and options like the default gateway and DNS servers to use to computers without us having to manually go in and configure each and every one of them on each and every computer. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to Thank you for viewing.